Hello everyone, this is day six of my bike tour here in Greece, except today there's no cycling. I'm going to take a day off the bike just to rest the legs up, and instead I'm going to take you to the Mushroom Museum of Kalambaka here in Meteora. Okay, let's go and check out what it's all about. Meteora in Greece is most famous for its mountains and its monasteries. However, there is also a Mushroom Museum there, so I thought, <laughs> why not check it out? I'm in town, let's do it. There we go, I have found the Mushroom Museum of Meteora. Well, it's actually part of the Natural History Museum. Well, I think Mushroom Museum sounds better. The museum is spread out over two floors. The bottom half is dedicated to the Natural History Museum, with the top half being for the Museum for Mushrooms. Whilst I was there, I decided to start off with the Natural History Museum. This basically consisted of a lot of stuffed animals and birds, all in display cases. Now, I'm kind of 50-50 on my thoughts about things like this. I think it's important that we show animals that have become extinct, but I kind of question its place in the modern world as well. What do you think? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below, please. Walking up the stairs, I was greeted by this magnificent specimen. Look at the size of that mushroom. Isn't it wonderful? Yeah, come on, get your heads out of the gutter, guys. Come on, it's a mushroom. So the museum itself was very interesting. Uh, there was lots of displays of the different sorts of mushrooms and they were divided into categories, whether they would be edible, non-edible or poisonous. There was also links with different stories from folklore and history and mythology. Uh, some were explained as how they were used for medicinal purposes, some even for fire lighting. It was very interesting and there was also another area where they'd set up different scenes. Now I guess you could say that these were different environmental scenes. So you had like a deciduous forest, you had uh, an evergreen forest setting, there was like a mountainous setting, and within each of these they would show you where the um, mushrooms would be growing. So some would grow on logs, some would grow from the earth, some would grow from trees, and it was good. And as you can tell, there's also the occasional stuffed animal in there as well, which was, I don't know, it's kind of weird. I, I found the whole place to be a mix between pure genius with just a touch of weirdness about it as well, and the touch of the kitsch. Do you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, so in a way, sometimes I was looking at the mushrooms, but was distracted by the animals. And then when I stepped back from it, I realized how good it was and how much effort had been put into the display. I would really recommend that you go there if you visit in Meteora. Uh, as well as the displays, they've also got a shop area. And in the shop area, they sell different products that have been made from mushrooms. So you can buy mushrooms to cook with. And there's also some soup mixes and some pasta. And I actually ended up buying some pasta from there as well, which tasted very nice at night. So wrapping up day six of the bike tour, the daily spend was seven euros 50. And the daily lesson I think here is if there's a mushroom museum near you, go and visit it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.